Hello people, I am Sky Demolisher and welcome to a 12 days of anime video. The topic of this video is my favourite articulated figures out of Japan that I got in 2019. And as you would have seen in a From the Collection Friday the other week is my SH Figure Arts Joker. And in a future From the Collection Friday, my Masterpiece Jazz. Uh, so as these are either figures that have been or will be in From the Collection Friday, I won't go into massive detail about them. But I will go into detail about what I like. So in the case of the Joker, uh, I think that this is the best sculpt I have ever found for a Joker figure. Um, his articulation is far better than anything that you might find in something like Hasbro's Black Series of Star Wars figures or the um, Marvel Legends, that sort of thing. Uh, I believe DC in their last run of Batman Multiverse type figures finally got figures that are sort of back up at that par. But the thing is, Japan just does it better. Their articulation is better, their paint apps are better, and the fact that they have a far greater pride in their work is what really makes them stand out. And that's why this Joker is one of my favourite articulated figures from this year. The other, of course, might be a Hasbro masterpiece, but Hasbro would not even have this sort of stuff if it wasn't for Takara in Japan. Uh, and basically, if it wasn't for Takara in Japan, we wouldn't have any form of transforming robot from the Transformers series. Uh, and Jazz is my favorite character. Transformers are in fact how I got into toy collecting in the first place. Um, all the way back, I think 12 years ago, um, on Trade Me, I bought a busted transformer because I had very little money and I wanted something to make me happy. And that busted transformer is what made me happy. It then got me into Transformers New Zealand and I haven't looked back since. Um, now, this is probably the most movie accurate jazz I have ever seen. Um, as you can see, he has his cannon attached on this arm. Uh, that can be detached. He does have two fully poseable hands with um, adjustable fingers. Uh, but I've locked one of them off so that he can hold his cannon uh, because I have been taking photos of him and I plan to take much, much more. Um, the other probably interesting gimmick, although I don't believe it was seen in the film, is that you can lift up the top of his head and move his visor back. Um, so for 2019, these two are my favorite articulated figures that came out of Japan. And they are my favorite articulated figures that I've picked up this year. So I hope you've enjoyed that. And until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye.